Hi, Mark Savage here. Welcome to my channel. What are we talking about today? Ducati brakes. Now, this is something, well, one of the reasons why I didn't actually want to ride this through the winter. <laughs> and let's be honest about Ducati brakes. The front brakes are amazing. They'll stop you on a dime, or if not over. And the rear brake on this, well, I don't know about the sports ones, but on this bike, particular one, the Multistrada, I have to literally stand on the back brake for it to very, very slow me, slow me down. Brakes generally the same, but disc brake cleaner, you can use carb cleaner, that sort of stuff, um, but it does clear up, but use the proper stuff. I've said this before, you know, use proper stuff, what you're doing. So get yourself some disc brake cleaner. These are Brimbros. One tool, undo these, it will come off. Take it out, take the pads out, give them a good old clean rag, little wire brush, then you've got your pistons, clean all around them with rag, push them back a little bit. You can use some three in one if you want to, make sure you clean it up afterwards and keep spraying around. A little bit of copper on the back of the pads again, just a little bit though, and then put it all back together. Give the disc itself a clean as well. And that will do you good stead. So that's what we're going to do now. Any of you watch my RT video, you know that the uh, BMW has a dual servo system on there. Oh my God, you know, if I rode this and I got on a BMW and I touched the back brake, it nearly threw me over the front of the handlebars. It was really, really quite a shock, to be honest with you. <laughs> Remember, you've got both sides to do on here, so let's just do this one today. Oh, there we go. It doesn't hurt putting a little bit of three and one back in the bolts in here. Oh, some copper grease. It doesn't hurt on these bolts. Now I'm hoping that I don't have to take the wheel off to get these off because some I've had before are so tight to get out. But we're going to find out, aren't we? Because I've not done one before. Now, try and remember, just seeing that, how these come off. Take a picture, but what you've got here is the bolt goes in, you've got this spacer that goes in here, so it goes through, okay? Don't forget that. I've had people before put these back on it's rubbing, it's grinding, what's wrong with it, and there's a simple thing like that you forgot. So get your camera, take a picture of the way it's set up before. So then, you know, after you fit it back, you wonder where these two are from, you'll know, wouldn't you? One. And there we go, two. A little bit of copper grease, that's what I'm gonna do anyway. So to get these off, often, just twist a little bit, twist a little bit. What this does, is it push the pistons back ever so slightly, and there you go. So I was worried about it. It won't come off. Looks like you're gonna have to take the wheel off. That's really, really piss poor, that is. I wonder, can I lever it a little bit more so I can get some more angle on this? There we go. Pushing the pads in a little bit. Now they are quite good, to be honest with you, but you can see there's loads of crap back here and it's very dry. So, little trick there. If you can't get it off, squeeze it left and right, left and right, left and right, and you'll open the pistons up, and then it will come off. Be careful not to damage your wheel. And there you go, didn't need to actually take the wheel off, thank God for that. So, we are gonna look now how this mechanism goes, how they pop in, whether they push out, and generally, they'll come out. Screwdriver, just push. And there you go. So these ones are really simple. Hmm. They're not bad, but you can see they're rubbing. You can see that. And then push this one out. Nothing on the back of these. And again, a bit shiny. Now I said I've got new ones. It's good to see that they're the same. But if you looked on here, there's not a lot of meat more on here, maybe a meal or two. So there's lots of life left in these. But we're gonna give them a really damn good clean up. So, a little bit of disc cleaner on the discs. Let's get them nice and clean. Let's clean these up. And there's the pistons. 
and you can see there's not really anything any reason why they're a bit bit sticky but we're going to give them a good old clean up a bit of spray push them back let them come out a bit bit of spray again and i'm going to put some copper on the back here and just around the edges and that will clean these up it should be nice and free now as usual i don't just like people saying this is what you do and don't show you so getting the rag in here here's i think where it may be jamming in slightly because remember these bits go in like that and they go back and forth if this is all like got crap on it you know it will make it harder for it to go back so give these a really good clean in there rub down the sides here and you can see it's not asbestos anymore so you haven't got to worry about masks well you can't get a mask for loving the money here with the old coronavirus and moving on quickly that one i've got to say i actually thought it was going to be like a couple of three weeks six weeks a couple of months you know and now i've realized it's here forever and we're all going to get it yay just depends on when you get it so all nice and clean as we can see i've used a little bit of this spray in there i've pushed them back not damaging anywhere just push it back ever so slightly so they're a bit more back and then i've wiped it all clean i've gone in here as well and wiped it all here now it wasn't as dirty as it could have been because i'd actually used this before spraying around the disc and i jet washed it as well but it wasn't enough half a job bob you need to take them off and clean them up as for the discs a little bit of copper slip oil here a little bit on the back these are the bits that hold it and obviously go back and forward so it's not going to hurt having a little bit of it don't get carried away and smother the whole damn thing remember these are brakes and obviously the bolts i've just put a little bit of there and they'll go back in there i'm only doing that because i know i'm going to keep the bike longer and it's much easier to get them back in and out again because you're going to get water in here it's going to expand and contract and get dirt in there and it will make it hard to get them out this will make them a lot easier so well worth doing remember how they went back in so don't put them in this way because it ain't going to work very well is it but nice and clean get the rag in there you really want a dirty rag when you finish here you know you've done a good job and i said getting right in there getting right in there job done and then we're going to replicate this on the other side nice and simple 20 minute job sun's out soon <laughs> you want to get on with it so i took a quick look at the back brake are you gonna be able to get this one off without taking the wheel off i think not because looking where it is <laughs> This has got to come off. I know the back brakes on these bikes um, is less, obviously, than the front. You've got double discs at the front and a much bigger pads. But I still expect better. Now, I did clean it up. It was pretty dirty, if I'm honest with you. I didn't get any overspray when doing the chains. I never do it at the back. I always do it at the front. So there's no oil on it. There was, obviously, some road salt and grease on there. So I've taken that off. Um, but to do this one, yes. I mean, I could get the wheel forward more, I suppose, and then wiggle it out somehow. But I'm not going to give it a go. Because the front brakes are the ones that are rubbing, not the back brakes. So remember, when you squeeze them back, the left-hand side was easy to push back with a screwdriver. I've often left the pads in there and pushed the screwdriver in gently without damaging the pads so you're not forcing back on them little runners. Um, and it worked really well on this side, so it was right. The right hand side is, is slightly sticking. Um, remember when you've put them back on to pump it, don't go down the road, pump it until it's firm again um, and give it a test before you even think of riding off down the road. I'm going to see how that goes to work today. If it sticks still, then I am going to take it off again and I'm going to get the screwdriver, I'm going to push them all the way back in, I'm going to pump them out, spray them, push them all the way back in again. I did a light service, and when I've done that one, I'm going to do the back one as well. See if I can get through the wheel, worth a go, rather than having to take the back wheel off. However, you may have noticed my back tyre is getting on the low side, we're well, just on the markers here, 1.6 here in the UK. Loads of tread at the side, but that's winter riding for you. But sitting there is one brand spanking new tyre. 
So I haven't needed to change the brakes, just clean them up. I may need to do it again. I mean, that's the thing with repairs, DIY repairs, when you're doing it yourself. It's something you may have to do again. Don't think you've done it once perfect, because it may, and as it may still be binding, it doesn't take much. And I've often found, take it off. I'd never done these brakes before. Same as in all my big bike services. I haven't done it before, but the general there, you know, it's a generalization. They're all the same, give or take, an extra screw here, an extra bolt there. They'll come off so, so easy doing it yourself with very, very few tools, and you are gonna save yourself some money. And you know it's been done because you've done it. You know, when I first bought this, someone mentioned the other day when I brought it back and all the bolts were loose. You go into a main dealer nowadays for service and all they do is the oil service. That's all they do. Or the plugs or the air filter. They won't think, oh, look at that. That could do with a Titan. It's not like the old days anymore. You know, they, they want a lot of money for what they do because they're so real good professional. But then they let a bike go out that personally is bloody dangerous. It's funny how things change. They want more for less. All change now. Years ago, they used to do it to the top, and you knew you'd drive right away with it. Now they don't. They do it between both lines, and they'll give some excuse that the oil gets hot and expands, and the oil cools down and lowers down. Blah blah blah. Um, whether it's right or wrong, yeah. I want it topped up. Thank you. I want it to the proper line, and I want to know that I've got enough oil in there. Um, all change for this one next. As I said, keep watching. Thank you so much. Please like, share, and subscribe. Check out my Ford F100 video. Damn. And some of you may notice my editing's gone to crap. Um, that's because I haven't got my Premiere anymore. I'm using a free one. So I'm hoping I'll be able to lock this out. But if not, then you'll wonder why I'm chatting shit. Please check out my F150 video. Please. It's a good video. <laughs> I love it. I know, I know you might like bikes, but come on, who doesn't like a truck? And it's sitting out there, and I want to go in it. <laughs> when I did the video recently, I was flooring it. And I said, I'm getting between 16 and 18 to the gallon. And I got to the pet station, and I'm like 13 to the gallon. <laughs> so flooring it is not good. Drive like and just drive really slowly, and it's enjoyable still. But you have to, you have to put your foot down. Enough. Speedy bikes, love them. What's my next summer one? I don't know. Um, I'm going to have to buy a summer bike stop sun is out very soon mid-march if it stops wind and rain and i haven't washed this because it's going to rain again today anyway take care of yourselves on the road please like share and subscribe thank you so much for staying with me i'm nearly at 12 000 subscribers and i'm getting a really good selection of trolls as well <laughs> yeah they uh they go through every video now and dislike them um but you're still watching it so keep disliking keep liking i don't care you know i'm just trying to help people and if you don't like the way I speak, and my accent's funny, and I'm not as good as someone else, and you're in the keyboard mode, and your mum's still cleaning your bedroom for you, I'm going on. I'm not even going to put this in here. But